My thought is I poked him in the nose and he went up and grabbed his eyeball and pretended like I poked him in the eye and it took a way out. So it was an intense first round, the second round here. I, I felt him kind of, you know, wilting a little bit and I get this little bar arm and that's where I want to be. And you can see his legs are split, so he cannot come into me, he can't go away. So I knew I had him right here, just rain down punches. I heard the ref say, you know, protect yourself. And that was over. Was that Khabib or Ryan Bader there? Yeah, it's similar style. You know, we'd like to get that, you know, that little handcuff or bar arm. And with those legs trapped the way they are, they can't roll away and they can't roll into you. And so they're in a bad position. They need to actually, you know, get their arm out and look to stand up. But once you have that tight, I'm using my body weight and his body weight to pin that down. Then I have a free hand, you know, and he only has one hand to defend. And so once I start to, uh, you know, accumulate those punches and I hear that ref come in, that's time to kind of, you know, explode a little more and finally end up getting that finish. So the first title defense, it's huge. You know, you can go in there. Um, nobody really gets lucky, but you can go in there and win the title, right? But you're really not the champion until you defend it. And I went out there against a, a tough, tough guy, defended my belt, solidified myself as a true 205-pound champion. So um, I definitely believe going in there and defend that title is, is huge, huge. You know, King Moog, he can do, do a lot of things. You know, he, he's obviously a, a very accomplished wrestler, good MMA wrestler, um, but he has good boxing too. You know, so going in there, um, we kind of took the all-around approach is being ready on the ground, being ready on the feet. Don't, we didn't know where the fight was going to end up. You know, so going out there and we touched gloves and started going, I saw the openings right away. You know, I, I was fainting to the body. I do a faint where it looks like a takedown. It could be, um, you know, a jab to the body. I, I do a lot from that little faint right there and keep him guessing. And so he kind of brought his hands down. I came up with a, a sneaky left hook, you know, caught him perfectly. He went down and went over there for, for the finish. Yeah, so he goes down. I knew I had him pretty hurt right here. Got my position, got behind him, started raining down punches, same thing. You know, the ref was coming in, so I knew it was a matter of time. And so that was a great win for the opening round of the Grand Prix because I'm moving on. It was one punch, it was, you know, 15 seconds, and, and I'm done. Bader beats Tank Malawal in lightning quick fashion. Mamma mia! Yeah, fighting Fedor is uh, definitely different. You know, right now, being in the cage with them, and they're about to introduce us, and I'm fighting Fedor, of all things, you know, and for the heavyweight championship, for, for uh, um, dual champion, you know, it was a huge moment and nervousness, but I always, I kept it down. I didn't want to put him on a pedestal. And that was a kind of the theme throughout camp. You know, just another guy across the cage that I can go out there and beat. Do a little bit of a, a little bit of half hitch. That's his fate. And watch for that right. Oh, it's going to be over. Big shot. I didn't expect to finish him like that. Um, we were working on that, that punch because the way he moves, the way he keeps his hands down and I wanted to find that line where Fedor was going to blitz me. And I found that right away. I could, I could see it in his eyes and his muscle twitches. And I go, all right, that's a line. I can't go past that if I don't want him coming at me. So I went right up to that line, fainted through that hook that I, I knocked out King Mo with, and it landed perfectly. And we were practicing that in the back the whole, the whole time, and it just worked out. The game plan worked out. That's a shot. He is the winner of the Heavyweight World Grand Prix and now the new Bellator Heavyweight World Champion. I love the Heavyweight Grand Prix belt. It has our names on that, you know, legends of the sports, got Fedor, Frank Mir, everybody on there, you know, and so um, that was special. I didn't know I was getting that. And, you know, the other belts, everyone is, is super cool, appreciative, and, you know, we earned that, but that one belt is, is different, it's unique, it's one of a kind. You're not gonna see that belt anywhere but on my uh, mantle in my office. Thoughts on the Congo fight? Uh, my thought is I poked him in the nose and he went up and grabbed his eyeball and pretended like I poked him in the eye and, and took a way out. I, felt, I feel like he felt my pressure, he got hit a couple times, I took him down and he knew it was gonna be a long night and decided to get out of there earlier rather than later. Yeah, you can see right here, like I'm, put, I'm trying to get space. You know, and then my thumb goes right in his nose. You know, that uppercut probably hit him in the eye right there, right in the nose, right? No eye, he grabs his eye right there. You know, and so if I would have went out, I didn't know. You know, I didn't know during the fight, um, but then I wanted to see proof.
you know, video proof right there shows I poked him in the nose. He might got a hit with the uppercut in the eyeball. And uh, um, it is what it is. You know, that it sucked that the fight stopped and we had to you leave it like that. But I'm sure I'll run, run across him again. So now you got Corey Anderson in front, in front of you. How big of a threat is this guy? Break down his game for me. Yeah, Corey's a big threat. You know, he's, uh, he's nonstop, a lot of volume. He's, uh, he's good and safe on his feet, um, good defense, and uh, he's a wrestler, and he has good ground and pound, you can see here with his elbows. Um, you know, uh, he's coming over to Bellator. He came in and fought, you know, not, these guys aren't bad at all, but they're not top names, they're not champions, you know, and so um, I've always been looking forward to Crossing pass with Corey, and, and uh, here we are in the semifinal, so I'm excited about it. You're facing off with him. You're a big dude, so is he. Uh, anything from that face off you learned? No, I know Corey a little bit. It's just, uh, you know, he's excited in there, just got to win. And uh, it's one of those things where I'm the type of fighter, I don't put a lot of stock in, you know, people's attitudes, or you see them on fight week, and, you know, they're either friendly or not. I don't care. I've done this enough where I go in there and just do my thing. I know I'm going to go in there and bring it, and that's all I can do.